Divi is known for having some incredible pre-made layouts, but what do you do if you find a layout that you love that just sadly doesn't match the theme of your website that you wanna make? Let's say you absolutely love the corporate layout pack that you've seen, but you're thinking this can't apply to me because I'm making a website about my band. With the power of Divi AI, you can change that corporate layout pack into a website about your band in the snap of a finger. Divi AI is an incredibly powerful tool that's like having an entire team of designers and writers at your disposal to help you out with your website. Now, if you haven't checked it out already, go down into the link below. There you can try out Divi AI for yourself so you can follow along with this tutorial, but I'm gonna show you how you can take a layout pack and change it to the needs of your website just using the power of Divi AI. Let's jump in. So I'm gonna show you a simple example of how this works really quick. Let's say you absolutely love the way the Divi Bake Shop layout looks, but you don't run a bakery, you run a coffee shop. We'll use the power of Divi AI to quickly change this to match the branding of your site how you would want it. So we'll just open up the homepage here and I'll show you how this works. I'll use this layout and here you can see our bake shop layout. It's a gorgeous layout if you were to be running a bakery. So what we're gonna use is Divi AI's image creation abilities to make these related to coffee and not to pretzels. So it's very quick and easy. All we have to do is open up the module settings for the image we wanna change. And when you hover over the image here, there's this little button that says AI. If you click this, what we can do is we can improve this image using Divi AI. Now, when you're doing this, you have a lot of image styles to choose from. So if you want it to look like photo or concept art, drawings, watercolors, cartoons, etc., you can play around with this as you want. But for here, I'm gonna use a photo. Then we just wanna say what we want this image to be. So we'll simply do a cup of coffee. And then here's where you determine how much of this reference image it's gonna take into account when it's making the image. So in this case, if we make this too high, it's gonna try and make it too much like a pretzel. And if we make it too low, it won't take any of the image into account. So let's make it a little bit less and we'll just make this a nice 20%. Then I'll hit generate and it's gonna take a few seconds and generate our images. So here you can see it gave us a few cups of coffee and since it was referencing the first image, it took into things like the orientation of the image and some of the colorations as well. And from here, we have some options. If you like one of these, you can just click it and hit use this image or you can have it just generate four more if you don't like these at all. So let's try that. So here you see it's given us four completely new cups of coffee. Then if you do like one, but it's not quite how you want it to be, you can click that image and you can hit generate more like this one. So let's try that so you can see how it looks. So you can see it took the same feel of that first one, but gave us a few different options. And if you wanna refine this prompt altogether, here's where we can refine it more. Now, one piece of advice is the more specific you can be with this, the closer it's gonna to be to what you want. So if we wanted a cup of coffee, but we wanna say in a green cup, we can do that and generate this. And now it's gonna put the coffee into a green cup for us. So you can see it has the same feel as before with our new images, but now it's in a green cup. So let's say I like this one right here. We'll hit use this image. You can see it put it in for us. And then we can save these changes if we like it. So now all we have to do is change these other three images of pretzels. So we'll do the same thing. Open our up on module settings, go to AI. And here we'll generate with AI, have the same image styles. We'll keep it as a photo. This one, let's do a barista making coffee at a coffee shop. If you have a reference image that you want it to use, you can upload here. And here's where you can change your aspect ratio and then the size that you want of your image if you have a specific size. And we'll just generate here. So then if we like one of these, we can just take it. We could either generate more like we did before or we can just use this image. So now we have that one. We'll do the other two as well. We'll save this module settings. Let's make this one. We'll generate and have it be freshly baked scones. We'll generate. We can take these scones here. Let's use this. And then we just have to change our last image. Save this. And then our last image here. Let's do this and we'll generate here. Let's make this latte art and we'll generate. Let's say we like this one. We'll use this image and we can apply this. Now let's just change the name of our site. So we'll have Divi coffee shop. Then let's change our section here that has the pretzel. So we'll go to our section settings or has background. We'll go to background image. And then we can do the same thing. So we'll generate, we'll improve this with AI. We'll make this one coffee beans. We'll generate. So we can go ahead and use these coffee beans here. Let's use this image. We'll apply these. Now we just have to change our image descriptions that we have. And what's really awesome is we can also use Divi AI to help us with this as well. So let's go to our module settings for this text here. And if you scroll down, similar to the images, we can just click the Divi AI options. And what we wanna do is just have it right with AI. So here we'll just say this is a title. You can choose which content type it is. There's paragraph, button, title, etc. We'll do a title. We'll just say a cup of coffee. And then here you can choose how much context is gonna use from your page. You can have Divi AI scroll through your page to use context from that. Same with your section or module. I'm gonna do no context since we're not using the bakery idea and we're going with a coffee shop. 
We're gonna generate this. And it's the same thing as with our images. If we don't like what it says, we can hit retry. And if we like it, we can hit use this. If you don't wanna use Divi AI for this and you know what you want it to say, you can say something, you can just type in what you want. We'll say our baristas. But if you're like me and get writer's block, Divi AI is amazing because it can help you out quite a bit. And we'll just change these really quick. Now you can see in just a few minutes and using Divi AI, we transformed this bakery layout to match our coffee shop branding that we wanted. Super easy, very quick and extremely powerful. But let's say that you found a layout that doesn't even match anything close. Making a bakery into a coffee shop, that's not super difficult, but what if we had something a little more crazy? So let's say that you're going through the Divi layouts and you see this one and you really like how Pop-Up Picnic looks. But you're thinking to yourself, this layout isn't gonna work for me because I'm a lawyer. Well. With Divi AI, that's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and use this layout and we'll use the power of Divi AI to make this about our theoretical law firm. So let's start by replacing this big image on the left. So we'll go to the module settings, go to AI and let's generate with AI. And then we're gonna use the same size as the image that we have over here. And let's use scales of justice and we'll generate that. So then we'll choose one that we like, we'll select it and then we'll use this image. So then we'll go ahead and apply this. Let's change this image as well. And we'll go ahead and generate this one with AI. We'll make this one a law book and we'll generate. Let's say we like the way this book looks, so we'll use this. And then we'll use Divi AI to write us some copy. So we'll apply this. We'll change the name from pop-up picnics to Divi Law. Now that we have our images in place, let's go ahead and go in here and change our copy using Divi AI. So we'll go to our module settings and we'll scroll down to the AI button and we'll click this. And let's go ahead and write with AI. So you can change what it's about, a title, a paragraph, a button, etc. Let's do a title here. It's about a law firm. We're gonna use no page context here and let's generate the text. If you like it, you can hit use just like with images. If you don't, let's try again. And if we like that, let's use this text here. And then we'll just make sure that we make this the heading. So we'll change this from paragraph to heading one. We'll accept this. Now let's change our body copy here. We're gonna do the same thing. AI, we're gonna write with AI. We'll make this into a paragraph and we'll say, explain why our law firm is the best. We're gonna use no context and generate. And it's gonna give us some copy about why our law firm is the best. Let's go ahead and use this text. And then there's another couple awesome things you can do here. So if you go back to the AI here, there's some quick actions. You can make it quickly lengthen, shorten, simplify it. So if this is too long, we can hit shorten and then we can use that and it's shortened it a little bit for us. And then we'll just change this button since view packages doesn't quite make sense. We'll just change this. We'll say it's something like view services. We'll save that. And as you can see, using just the power of Divi AI in only a few minutes, you can customize any layout that you see to match whatever page you wanna create. Divi AI is an incredible tool that gives you the ability to turn any layout that you see into a layout that matches the exact website that you need. If you haven't already, make sure you check out Divi AI. There's a link down in the video description below where you can get started today. Once you try it out, you'll wonder just how you've been able to make it this long without Divi AI in your life. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you go, make sure you check out the rest of our Divi AI playlist. We have a lot of cool tips and tricks for you. And we go into a lot of cool product features as well so that you can get the most out of Divi and Divi AI. And we'll see you in the next video.